Hey guys and gals, went to the range the other day, went and shot the Marlin 795 and I shot targets that I made like this that have segments uh, for each target, each spot, little half inch, well dime size spots. Um, anyway, shot a bunch of lead ammo, no plated ammo. Um, this was all a test to see which ammo it likes the best, which this particular gun likes the best. It's a stainless steel Marlin 795, has a Bushnell 3 to 9 by 32 scope, medium rings. Like I said, looks kind of low, but yeah, they might be low rings. Anyway, first round I shot was the Remington Thunderbolt. It's a round I really like. Didn't test as well as I thought it was going to, but I also hadn't settled completely down. It was my first round. I did shoot, I think with the Thunderbolt, I shot 10 rounds off into the dirt to kind of season the barrel to the to the round. I did that for each round that I shot for at least the first six rounds and then maybe or five rounds. Maybe after that I started shooting, but I shot three targets on each one after that. Anyway, um, this is what we got with the Remington Thunderbolts. I got a 0.9 inch group at 25 yards with the scope on, on the bench with the bipod. On the second group, this is half an inch, 0.5, center to center of the of where the hole is, from the center of the hole to center of the hole. This was a flyer and I know I jerked it. Um, no excuse, but anyway, I, I probably could have done better with the Thunderbolts. Represented a little bit better, but I didn't. Um, I might do it again sometime. Next round was the Gemtech subsonic 42 grain, 1020 feet per second. Got a 0.68 group on this one here, which is decent, I think. And uh, over this, this is 0.46. This is over an inch here. I don't know, or about an inch anyway, center to center. I, I had a flyer to the right. Well, the first one to the left, and then the second flyer was to the right. I had three good shots in the middle. Anyway, number three, and this surprised me. Like I said, I shot a few bullets. I might have shot a full magazine of the standard velocity before I started in on the target. Standard velocity is not... My gun's favorite round. 0.9 inches up in a vertical group and 1.4 inches on the second group and that's a vertical group as well. So I don't know what was going on with the standard velocities. 40 grain, 1070 feet per second. Another one, this is one of my really favorite bullets and I like it really because it's cheap but CCI Blazers they come in a box of 500, uh, well, 10, 50 round boxes for around 23 bucks. If you can find it for that. And uh, got some good groups. Surprised me. That's 0.85. High, the one was high. There was those four are a pretty good group. This one here is 0.90 from here to here. That, those three are real tight. This group here. That's 0.38 inches center to center. That's less than a less than 0.4 inches. So that's that was a really good group that the see that's the second best group that I got out of any of the bullets. I know some of you guys can shoot better than that, but that's what I did on that day with this gun and this scope. Next I switched to Federal. And American Eagle is a little box that says American Eagle. It doesn't say Federal on it, but it's made by Federal. And that did okay. 0.97, like, that's like one inch center to center from the two farthest holes. 0.58 inches on the farthest holes here, center to center. That's a little over a half inch. That's not bad. That's pretty respectable for a really cheap bullet. That did really well, in my opinion. 
Then going on with Federal, and this is all lead bullets, by the way. Yeah, the Federal American Eagle is 1,260 feet per second. That's a really hot round. 40 grains, 1,260 feet per second. Equal probably to the Thunderbolts or, you know, that type. Thunderbolts are 1,255 feet per second. Uh, then I went to Ultra Match. This is a box of ammo that I bought... I was only able, I only bought it because I could get it on a price match at Academy. They price matched um, Shooter's Guide or something like that online. They matched their price. The price in Academy is $17.99. That's an expensive bullet. I got the online price for like $8.70 or something like that. So that's still expensive, but I wanted to test them. Got one group, you know, of course I shot five off target, and then I shot this group of .86. Not that impressive, but then it tightened up to .43 on the second group, which is very good. That's a very good group, .43. And of course it's a lower powered round, 1080, but as you see, all the rounds are low, so it might be actually less power than that. Because some of the other bullets in that range were higher um, as you'll see here in a minute um, federal hv match that's high velocity match that's 1200 feet per second 40 grain lead ammo that's a good group here federal hv match that's well that's 0.36 from here to here but then i had the one outside the group which made it 0.75 Three quarters of an inch from there to there. The middle group was one inch, 0.07 from there to there, center to center. The third group, 0.42 inches, center to center. That's really good. That's one of the better groups. Of course, you know, shooter has something to do with whether they get good groups or not. And I know y'all can get probably some better groups than me. Federal Target, Federal Gold Medal Target, did really well too. Well, pretty well. Uh, 0.65 inches, 0.52 inches. This small group here, group of four, is 0.25 inches, center to center. This small group here, three, this three bullets, 0.27 inches. Flyer to the right, flyer to the left. Reminds me of something else. You know, one of the other groups got a flyer to the right and a flyer to the left. Maybe it was my fault. I don't know. This was the best, tightest group and the best shooting round in this gun. Aguila, super extra standard velocity, 38 grain, 1050 feet per second. And it's, they changed the name, they're, they're, they haven't come out on the shelves yet, but the new name for it is Solid Point, not Super Extra, Standard Velocity, Aguila, made in Mexico. Got 0.36 inches on this group here. Come on, focus. Anyway, 0.36. Then 0.45. That's two good groups in a row. That's two very good groups in a row. There we go. And then 0.45, but there was a flyer, one and a quarter inch. That was very good. Then I, I bought another box of Aguila. This was rifle match competition rounds. It's like a buck more, buck fifty more than the super extra or solid point. So that didn't do as well. And of course, like I said, I, I started just shooting on in. This was the first target on that. 0.9 inches, 0.66 inches, 0.96 inches. That was the third group. And that's that. The Aguila Super Extra Lead Standard Velocity is the best round in this gun. This is Marlin. With the micro micro group, then I shot one more round. This is a bonus 
CCI AR Tactical. That was a copper plated bullet. I only shot one group because, and I started to shoot another one, but then the range master called the range cold and I had to go get my targets and such and gather up and move out because I was out of time. So anyway, hopefully you haven't wasted your time watching this and maybe you got some, some good ideas about ammo that you, is good for shooting out of your Marlins and maybe other 22s too. But you can try it yourself, see what kind of groups you get, post it up, or let me know your results. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a good night.